Hi guys, welcome to another Mass tutorial brought to you by Direct Tutoring. Today we're going to look at multiplying and dividing thirds. So if we take a quick overview, a third is known as an irrational number, which means that they cannot be represented by a fraction or a whole number and is often represented by the square root sign or even the cubed root sign. Whereas a rational number is the complete opposite, so that is like a whole number or even a fraction, like 1 over 4. And when you multiply and divide thirds, just like fractions, you don't need the same value underneath the square root sign. And the two general rules is for multiplying thirds, you simply take the value in the first third and multiply it by the value of the second third. And likewise, when you divide thirds, you simply do the first value divided by the second value. Now, I'll put a link in the description with the video on how to add and subtract thirds. It's The laws are exactly the same for dealing with fractions as they are with thirds. And there are a set of numbers that we must try and incorporate into solving the thirds. So if we know these set of numbers, which I'm sure you'll realise are the numbers that all have complete square roots. So for example, square root of 9 is 3, square root of 25 is 5, and so on. So these are the values that we're going to refer to in every single third question. So we take a look at the first question. Uh, it asks us to multiply and simplify root 7 times root 12. So the first thing that we'll do is we've got to multiply the values inside the square root sign directly, just like one of the rules in the red boxes. So we just have 7 times 12, which will give us 72. Now, the question asks us to simplify this as well. So when we get to this stage, we then have to simplify this third, because we've created a new third, we then have to incorporate one of the key values into this, and we'll try and simplify it as much as possible. So using one of the key values, let's see if we could go for 36 times 2, 36 being one of the key values, and the value of 2 being the lowest third possible. So when we split these apart, we end up with the square root of 36 times the square root of 2, which gives us our final answer as 6 root 2, and this is in its simplest form. Question 2 is pretty much exactly the same, however, this time we have coefficients in front of the square root signs. However, you treat it just like any other question. We multiply the values outside separately to the values inside the square root sign. So I've highlighted the 2 and the 4 in red, which corresponds to where we get the 8, because we multiply the 2 and the 4, will give us 8, and then we multiply it the same as we did in the previous question, 5 times 10. And that will give us 8 root 50. Now, this is asked again to simplify. This is a third, so we can now simplify root 50 trying to use one of the key values. And in this case, we'll use 25 times 2. And then that will split apart to 5 root 2. And your final answer, we must break this bracket and do 8 times 5. It's only the 5. It's not including the root 2. It's just 8 times 5. So your final answer will become 40 root 2. And then question number 3 is if we divide and simplify this time. So, like in the previous question, we simplify and then divide, whereas we simplified and then multiply. So we can simplify the root 12, which will become 4 times 3, and we'll do root 64, which in this case is a key value, so that becomes 8. Root 64 is 8. So if we tidy this up, we end up with root 4 times root 3, which will give you 2 root 3 times by 2 is 4 root 3, divided by 40. And now the fraction can be simplified, and your final answer 
becomes root 3 over 10. And then lastly, question number 4, if we divide and simplify root 50 over root 2. Now we'll use this rule this time, because we sometimes can be given it in this form, other times we can be given it in this form. But they both will equal this form here. So we can rewrite this as the square root of 50 divided by 2 which will be the square root of 25, which is not a third, because this is one of the key values. So root 25 becomes 5. And that's how you would go about multiplying and dividing thirds. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Leave any comments in the comment section below, and we'll see you in the next video.